Hey, Badger Buddies. Here are hidden secrets of the Sahara Desert. Number five. Coming in at the top of our list is the largest carnivore to ever be discovered. Back in 2014, a giant fossil was unearthed in Morocco, and it gave scientists an unprecedented look at the Spinosaurus. 95 million years ago, this prodigious predator roamed the land and waters of what is now the Sahara. This Behemoth stood 23 feet tall and measured 53 feet long, which is five feet longer than a school bus. The Spinosaurus was chosen as the main villain in Jurassic Park 3. Having such a terrifying antagonist is probably why no one saw that movie. <coughs> it is believed to be the only true semi-aquatic dinosaur and that it spent a lot of its time hunting in water. Its hallmark was a seven foot sail that jutted out of its back, which really puts the modern day shark fin to shame. This fossil discovery gives us a window into the nightmarish life of Sahara inhabitants millions of years ago. Number four, almost one fifth of all the meteorites that have been discovered on earth have come from the Sahara. This is because on the sandy desert floor, meteorites stand out they're often just waiting to be picked up. One of the most recent meteor discoveries was the Camille Crater in Southern Egypt. To date, this is one of the best preserved craters ever discovered. The hole left by the meteor is 147 feet wide and 52 feet deep. Iron fragments of the meteorite were scattered all around the site of impact. Fun fact! When you look up at the night sky and you see a shooting star, that is known as a meteor. But when meteors enter our atmosphere and a portion of them fall apart and land on the Earth's surface, those are known as meteorites. But do you know what a meteoroid is? See if you can guess the correct answer in the comments and stay tuned till later in the video for the right answer. No Googling! The team that discovered the Camille Crater believes that it weighed 22,000 pounds, was made entirely of iron, and struck the Earth at a speed of 2.1 miles per second. Number three. Thousands of years ago, the Sahara Desert was a fertile grassland. What ancient secrets are hidden beneath the sand is still an unsolved mystery. Angela Michael, founder of the Satellite Archaeological Foundation, has discovered befuddling ancient structures through satellite imagery. Angela's find suggests that the rubble mounds in the middle of the desert may be the remnants of the oldest pyramids in Egypt. It'll take a full-blown excavation to unravel this mystery that may end up rewriting the history of ancient Egypt. Number two. The sea has always been a great place to find monsters. Around 120 million years ago, a 30-foot crocodile named Machismosaurus rex called the Sahara Desert its home. This whopper of a predator is believed to be the biggest saltwater crocodile to ever have tormented the ocean's creatures. At the time, the Sahara was a vast lagoon, and the M. rex spent most of its day cracking turtle shells like pistachios. Paleontologists found fossils of this three-ton reptile in Tunisia and believed that it spent most of its time in the sea. It's answer time! According to Britannica, a meteoroid is the middle stage between meteors and meteorites. Once a meteor enters the space between the planets of our solar system, it becomes a meteoroid. If it hits the Earth, it becomes a meteorite. Hopefully it just cruises on through our solar system on its way across the galaxy. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe. Hit the bell button to get notified of new videos, and we always appreciate a big thumbs up. Number one. The Sahara has changed its look more times than Carrie Underwood when hosting the CMA Awards. I looked that one up. I had no idea that she changed dresses 10 times during the show. Believe me! Believe it or not, what was once an ocean has now become one of the driest places on the planet. The best evidence for this is that in Western Egypt, there is a place in the desert known by archeologists as Whale Valley. It received this moniker because the place is absolutely rife with whale fossils. You know whales, the massive mammals from the ocean? Their remains are popping up in the desert. So yeah, either this is Ashton Kutcher's most elaborate punked prank or the Sahara used to be covered in water. 
the concentration, and the quality of the fossils are unparalleled, and they give insights into how whales evolved. It's believed that the Earth's crust rose in this portion of the world, which is why the former sea floor is now a barren desert.